What's up, everybody? Happy holidays. It's your man, Ken Brisbane, a.k.a. Ken Billions, and I'm in the building, and you know we're going to chop up some fire. I'm flowing from the game scrolls, the game stash, and I got a great bill for you today, and uh, I'm going to use somebody's situation as a teachable moment for young dudes and older dudes jumping off the porch, and um, it's my attempt to make sure when a dude walks away from this conversation, he got more insights, and uh, we can use other people's lives not to down them, because uh, we all flawed, but we use other people's lives as a mirror into our own lives, so in this case, I'm going to use uh, what i seen going on with Future, and I'm not trying to throw dude under the bus, I'm just trying to highlight the fact that a lot of us males, we was educated wrong, so it's my attempt to, you know, share from from my revelations on what we could have been told that was correct. But let me plug my shit. That's that dealings over feelings. Let me put that up in the chat real quick before I go in. So, though, first off, happy holidays to everybody. Make sure you enjoy your family, even if they get on your nerves. It's very, very difficult to be family um, because it's understanding that makes us family. It's not just blood. So, Try your best to enjoy your family, and, and you know it is what it is. And enjoy the holidays. Um, of course, it's politics around the holidays, but what I suggest is if you're truly enlightened, uh, then you can be in the same room of people that don't agree with you. And it's not about trying to change nobody's mind, but if you're really enlightened, just go around your family and enjoy your family. You know what I'm saying? And in your private time, you create a counter ritual. So we already know the science of Thanksgiving and Christmas. Once you get to a, a, a place of real understanding, then you could be anywhere and it not phase you. All right. If you are really enlightened, then you, you should be able to rise off everybody's so-called ignorance and it shouldn't even phase you. So don't go try to convert people to your new awareness. Just let people be them. You feel me? Um, so enjoy your family. All right. So. Make sure you get a copy of Dealings Over Feelings right there. Check that out. It's the 4th of 20 special. And be on the lookout for the new book, The Whole Rules. But got that out the way. Check it out. So this bill, this conversation is titled, the topic is Robbed, mm, Reverse Mastery and Robbed of Technology. The Powerless Man, The Curious Case of Future, and His Many Baby Mamas. And again, I'm not a gossiper, so this is not the shit on Future. But I am going to use his life to basically mirror the lives of many males about how we was educated wrong. And because of the fact we was educated wrong, the joke be on us. And it looks... Um, fucked up on our behalf but people don't understand that the human being it must be taught every single thing things we think is natural are not natural at all they, they must be learned they must be taught so future represents a lot of people even aspects of myself so i'm not gonna try to that's for hoes i let the hoes do that so i'm not trying to diss dog but i'm gonna we're going to look at his life and the teachings that come from this culture and we'll see how somebody gets in this position. And I'm responding to or I'm seeing um, a post of I guess it's a new baby mama that chose to everybody it wants people in their business. So they chose to uh, talk about this on their Instagram. So I'm going to read that a little later. But this is about the powerless man. The powerless man. The reason why this is called robbed of technology and reverse mastery, but in technology in particular, the reason why this is robbed of technology, because we don't know that our penis represents technology. We don't we're not taught about the value of our penis and we don't look at our penis as technology. So the way that we grow up. The environment mixed with anger, mixed with being uneducated, we abuse our penis. And that behavior follows us into our adulthood. So a person could be 35, 40 years old, 50 years old, and never really taught how to care for their penis. Young girls get their period early. And if if the girl's around a lot of women, it's kind of a community effort to teach her about you know how to handle that situation. Little boys are not really taught to care for their penis. So 
when they grow up, they make dick mistakes. Okay, so I'm seeing future, not just future, many males make the same mistakes. You know what I mean? It's dick mistakes, all right? And we don't look at our dick as, <clears throat> we don't look at our dick as technology, which is very important. So this is also about reverse mastery because we're not taught the science of self-control, all right? Which is also very important. And then because we're not taught this, when a person grows up, you, you just assume that they're a man because they're 21 or they have a little facial hair or they're muscular, but that's not really the case. Uh, so it's reverse mastery because there's a narrative in our culture to basically seek instant gratification and curve self-control. But we see the results when we seek instant gratification and we curve self-control shit gets out of control. It's haywire, right? But that comes from education, okay? The male child is so severely uneducated, especially the black one, of, of, of things that matter. You, we don't go to school and learn about self-care. They don't tell us about self-control when we're in school, okay? So then when this person gets older and have a bunch of children and their lives is messy, everyone want to look at the guy, but there has to be a system in place for information when a child is 12, 13, 14. Before they get jump off the porch, around the ages of puberty, they should start their path of advanced education, self-control, and knowing how to manage their technology, which is the penis, is advanced education. I didn't even understand that shit until my late 20s, early 30s. By then, I have already left a trail of tears. Now, some guys make mistakes that they can't recover from, but it's not the guy. It's the system and the philosophy that he is adhering to, okay? Self-control. We are taught reverse mastery. YOLO. You only live once. That's reverse mastery because that is not about self-control. All right. And that's deeply hardwired in our culture for the black male to crash out. Right. So we never even really get to manhood. But we're going to talk about that in a second, because if you're familiar with what's going on with future situation, I'll read some of the things that the young lady said. If you're familiar with some of futures um, privy to their business a little bit, then you'll see that. When you are tapped into manhood, messy shit doesn't happen. But there's a reason for that. It's not because you're a good person. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a degree of knowledge, okay? So, the reason why, also reason why this is called the powerless man, because when we spill our seed, we are powerless, okay? The average 15, 16, 17-year-old has never heard the term semen retention, semen retention, okay? We are not taught the value of with, of not ejaculating, right? So when you are a male in the West and you're this color, your primary hard wiring is to be a buck. That's the narrative, okay? Separate this being from his mind and have him operate strictly in the body, okay? operate strictly in the body that is the that is the hard wiring of a nigger all right a nigger is basically a self-destruction chip that's basically in the dna of the male in the west all right so he's not totally in his mind but he is completely 100 percent in the body this is why we play basketball so well this is why we jump and so are are so physical yet People with less, less body mass index, people with less physicality are able to dominate us with, with the mind, though, with the mind, and, and meaning being in control of infrastructure, all right? Smaller guys are able to get the one up on bigger guys through intellect. Why? Because this group of people, by the millions, has, has been trained to uh, to operate in their body alone, okay? So that's why when you see a male have 10 children with 10 different women, that's a reason for that. 
That's because of the buck syndrome. That's because of the hard wiring of the nigga. Believe it or not, he does not know any better. And I'm going to show you why he does not know any better. And I don't care what kind of facial hair he has or how big he is. He's not a man. All right. He's not a man. Males can produce children. Man is something else. And I'll get into that. All right. But the powerless man, once the seed leaves your body, you are powerless. Whatever that woman or those women decide to do from there, you no longer have control because you gave away the power. All right. We don't look at our semen as our power. Right. Our semen is our number one treasure. Right. That is our number one treasure. And many of us did not know that until later. OK. There's power in not ejaculating. All right. So the reason why many of us are powerless is because we are oversexed in terms of we're letting the power go through us. We're letting it flow through us. And I'll get it and I'll tell you about an audio book later that talks about this. In fact, I'll play a clip for you so you can hear it. And it's really some above the next shit. This is for those guys interested in making the transition from male to man. Every guy with a penis cannot be a man. You need to understand this. A man is not born. It's a word that we use, but it means something else. All right. And we'll get into that. Right. So we uh, uh, we're robbed of technology, the science of technology, which is our penis. We're also reverse engineered in terms of self mastery because we are devoid of the knowledge of self control. Everything that goes on in the environment where the where the male is losing the male is losing because of self-control it's something that he did that he wished that he can take back but he can't because he could not fight that beast he could not battle that urge because we live in a culture that tells you go ahead do that shit you only live once it's all about the now there's truth in that However, things have consequences and we're not taught about those consequences. So we are raised upside down to be nothing but beast. But I have some solutions for that. OK, so we've been taught wrong. We haven't been taught to transcend our biology. And that's really what it is. We haven't been taught to transcend our biology. All right. The only way that a guy can transcend his biology he must train it, all right? So we're born male already pre-coded for certain behavior like anger, sex, violence, and hunger. These are urges. It's in our biology. It's part of the meat suit, right? And you can study other males in nature, and they have the same characteristics, the urge to reproduce, the urge to, to for combat and to clash and to for violence. Other males have that. OK, so we're not taught how to <clears throat> we're not taught how to train those biological urges. We're just a slave to it. Right. So because we don't understand it. Anger, sex, violence, hunger are all part of the characteristics of a male, right? All male meat suits, meaning the, the physical, have those characteristics upon arrival. You don't even know how you got them. It's part of the male meat suit, the male gorilla, the male lion, the rest of males in nature, even the human male inside of the body, you are pre-coded for certain behavior. Anger, sex, violence, hunger, right? Now, to transition to man, the male must learn how to what? Transcend anger, sex, violence, and hunger. The male must learn to transcend the things that are going on in the male meat suit. 
which is very important because lack of discipline with the male me suit gets us in trouble and makes our lives very hard. Life in jail, children that we don't want, committed to things that we're not ready for because we don't understand that a male is, um, excuse me, a man is not born. Male is. Man is something that you have to become through training. All right? All those things represent the male. Anger, sex, violence, and hunger. And I'll tie this into Future and his many baby mamas. Anger, sex, violence, hunger are all part of the male meat suit. They are urges. You feel it. You see a woman and you say, oh man, I want to sleep with her. Where did that come from? That feeling is very natural. The reason why I know it's supernatural to the male body is because an Irish man, a Russian man, a Jewish man, a China man, an African man, a white man, a man in South America, they all have that same feeling and they're all strangers to each other. Worldwide, the male aspect of us is Dying hard to mate. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. In every culture that I go to, depending on the philosophy now, but for the most part, every culture I go to, the male in that species is trying to mate. The male has a reaction when it sees the female. Right? Anger. Violence. Hunger. You feel hunger. You want it. But to transition... You must put the body through suffering because animals in nature, they have to follow and be loyal to their urges. Meanwhile, to the transition to male, you can scale back anger. Times where you were angry, you can control that. You can control sex, you can control violence, and you can control hunger. And they must be controlled in the, in the transition to man. All right? So all those things represent male. Man is something else. Let's get into man, and I'm going to tie this in into future and his many baby mamas, right? We're going to tie that in, okay? So, a man isn't born. Listen to what I'm telling you. A man is not born. What I need you to turn what you think a man is upside down and change the concept. Because for a long time, I'm sure, like many of you, like many of us, have been taught a man is an appearance. You think a man is, oh, he does this particular thing. But you can't see man. Because a man is not physical. Huh. A man isn't born. A man is an activated force that's inside the body of a male. Huh. Right? This di the difference between us and nature is that other beings do not have the potential to be man because they don't have the potential to activate the force of man. Man is a force, not an appearance. Male is the appearance. I have a penis. I have testicles. I have a nose. I have eyes. I have mouth, right? Man is the non-visible dual self. So it's non-physical touch, non-physical sight, non-physical smell, non-physical hearing, right? So it's the same as male, but just in the, in the unseen, okay? And, and we all know that there's things that are going on the unseen, and those, and those things manifest in the scene, all right? So males, we are not taught to activate the man, in, inside of us, okay? Everything in our environment teaches us that this is all we are. And I'm going to get into how we end up with baby mama drama, mistakes, because that is male, right? Now, what you have to understand is, of course, we want people to be accountable, but you cannot judge male and hold male to the same standard that you hold man. That is like holding a male dog to the same standard as a human, right? A male dog and a human male are the same. Believe it or not, they are the same. Now, the advantage that that male has is that male, if it puts the body through suffering, can activate the force of man. Man is a force, all right? 
that is the next level. That is go from body to mind. Now, I, I want to stay right there for a second because I want you to shift your brain of what you think man is. Now, if you are a Bible follower in the book of Genesis, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So if you, if you believe the concept that your deity and your powerful creator is a spirit, then this is what the spirit said. Let us make man. It doesn't say male. It says, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So that means that man's natural state is in the unseen, right? And any physical things going on, that is a representation of what's going on in the unseen. But when man is born into this environment, he falls. This environment is hell. This is not heaven. This is hell. The sleep realm is heaven. When, when man is born into this environment, he takes the male shell and then has amnesia. Okay? All religious books around the world, their attempt is, it's the interpretation that is messed up, but their intent is, is to get this male to make a phone call to his inner being, to his true self, and activate it and wake it up. The higher self is, on, is, is a mental concept. It's a sleeping part of it. Okay? That's man. Every, again, anger, sex, violence, hunger is the nature of males, not man. The nature of man is cosmic. Man is not from the planet. Okay? When you die... Your the a breath will leave. <sighs> That's a separation right there. What stays here is male, right? What stays here is male. What leaves is man, right? Now, good question. The us and let us make man in our image is the multiple parts that I'm talking about, right? Soul. Spirit, we we live in a multiverse. We live in multiple realities. This is not Ken's talking. This is people that are studying string theory and and quantum biology and and a bunch of other complex things that I'm not sure if I even understand yet. But the the human male is different than the rest of males in nature because it has these other intelligent parts. In fact. The, the human male, the male portion of him is the most degenerate part of him. There are other aspects of him that are, that are of higher intelligence. And we tap into that when we put the body through suffering to get control of the beast within. So, if a person has not done the work, a male has not done the work to go into man... You kind of expect the male to do male shit, right? You expect the male to do male shit. No, meat suit, not meat soup, meat suit, that this is a meat suit. And, and you can see that real, real clear in the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still with Keanu Reeves. When Keanu Reeves came into this realm right here, he had to take on a physical look, right? But that's not the image that he really was. He was something else. But the, 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 the body, the male body was just the vehicle and the house for something else. That's us as well, right? We have a higher intelligence inside of us. But when we are born into this reality, that is our fall. And... We are dormant. We have amnesia. We don't know what we are. And this environment through belief systems has us slaves to our outer senses, right? So the more that we are, uh, um, the more that we participate in our desires on this realm, and the more that we tap into these senses, it makes the other senses of our other, our, our dig, not our digital self, but our real self dormant. 
okay? Again, man is not physical. Man is spiritual, okay? Let us make man. Does not say male or human. It says let us make man, all right? So a man isn't born. A man is activated. It's a force, okay? It's a force. Future, like many of us, wasn't taught about his technology, the penis. Because if he was, he would be careful with his seed. Now, I am not doing this to diss him, okay? I'm not doing this to diss him. What I'm doing this for is a teachable moment. So this morning, I'm going to read something to you. It's a little lengthy, but stay with me, all right? It's a little lengthy, but I'm going to read something to you, <clears throat> right? Um, no, sir, I'm just using a movie as an example. Script writers are very deep people. It's an analogy, okay? So if you've seen The Day the Earth Stood Still, the character that Keanu Reeves was playing was mentioning that he looks different, than what you're looking at. He had to take on a body. All right? <clears throat> so, I'm going to read something that I seen this morning. And this seems to be happening a lot with this person. Uh, he is spilling his seed with many women. And we've never been taught about uh, semen retention. we never been taught about... Um, that it's much more better for us not to come. It's much more powerful for us not to come. In fact, it is much more powerful for a man to be abstinent. Okay? To be abstinent. I'm just introducing another thought process because many of us weren't taught that. Right? This is why you see men in prison who are engaging in sexual activity in prison. There's a level of brilliance and a level of genius in terms of the, the, the English language and, and writing books. Many of them get degrees. There's a level of brilliance that he, they achieve from suppressing the sexual nature of male. Okay, So I'm going to read this, and this is Future's new baby mother, or child's mother, or whatever. And I'm using this to, for the younger guys that are younger than me, hopefully you can get something from it, okay? Because this right here, if he was operating in male, in man, right? If he was operating in man, um, if he was operating in man, this wouldn't happen, okay? This wouldn't happen. So the young lady says, give me a second when I'm reading this because it's very long. And this is what you don't want right here. So now their business is in public. People can read it. And this is what I mean when I say the powerless man. Once your business is out in the open like this, you are now the powerless man because that seed has left your body. Whatever this young lady decides to do, this is what guys don't understand. If she has the baby or does not have the baby, that is on you because you allowed your seed to leave your body. Once it leaves your body, you have now become the powerless man. But I understand because we were not taught or educated on the value of our seed. So we put it anywhere. Right? Now, you can solve single parent issues in one, in one stroke. Right? If you teach the young males about semen retention and the value of holding their seed. He'll be, he'll be strategic in where it goes, if it goes anywhere, okay? So, now, the young lady says, I don't know where to start. Now, this is messy. This is messy. Now, anytime males are engaged in any messy activity, you can't be surprised. So now what I want you to do is differentiate the behavior of male and man. You'll, you won't see it, you'll feel it, okay? Differentiate. This right here is not uh, what, a, what will happen to a man because a man is a spiritual, dealing on a spiritual level, 
All right. So this is what happens after you do this, do the work. You would not put yourself in this kind of position. So she says, I don't know where to start. But I first want to say that the last couple of weeks have been the most stressful, heartbreaking days of my life. As many of you may know, outside of social media, have suspected I'm pregnant. Okay? This is Future's new child's mother. This is not good because young boys see this and we just emulate the behavior. I know because I emulated the behavior of older males. Okay? I wanted to enjoy this moment and take time off off of social media to bond with my unborn child and relax, which was highly recommended by my doctor, considering it's a high-risk pregnancy. I also have been dreading this moment because the attention and drag dragging that would come with this announcement, I tried my best to keep this a secret, not only for my, my own sanity, but due to the fact that I knew or thought my child's father deeply appreciated his privacy. Now understand, now understand that for uh, a man and woman, which a female and woman is different. Two men, I mean, I'm scarred. A woman and a man would never go through anything like this, ever. Because they did the knowledge on themselves. So if they came together, they would never solve conflict like this. Okay? This is the behavior of males and females, but I'm only talking about the male. This is male behavior, okay? This is behavior of someone who has not awakened the door. It's like a volcano. You have not activated that force within you, okay? So be clear. So you can't actually even blame future. He's doing exactly what a male is supposed to do based on the information that he has from this culture. This right here is cultural behavior, okay? This is the behavior of quote unquote black people. This is what goes on around the world. These are these are the images and this is what people think when they think about black people. This right here. This is cultural information right here. Okay? She says blah 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 blah. Uh, privacy. Oh, I've been guilty of a lot of things in my adult life, no lie. I've done my fair share of share of attention seeking, but in regards to my actual unborn child, I promised myself I wouldn't be that run to the blogs type chicks. I wanted as much normalcy as possible as uh although as I said earlier, I'm I'm far from an angel. I f let me see. I feel said earlier, I'm far from angel. I feel that no woman should have to endure the type of mental abuse and stress I've encountered behind this pregnancy. This should not happen right here. This shouldn't happen. This shouldn't happen. When you are practicing semen retention and you value your seed, nobody should be feeling like this. Him or her. Right? So to make a long story short, as I can, my unborn baby's father future and I began around on and off a little two years ago and yes I was aware of the many other women and and I played my part let's stop right there let's stop right there male behavior collects women or or girls females that's male behavior right it doesn't make sense so because future and many of us have been operating in male the things we do have no end game. Now, I believe that you can live whatever life you want. You can have it your way as long as you know what you're doing. First mistake, if he was operating in man, he would have made his movements a science. Meaning, if you did want to have a lot of children with a lot of women, the first and foremost thing he was supposed to do is make sure those ladies were followers of his philosophy. Getting to the meat potatoes of this thing. If they were followers of his philosophy, each and every young lady involved would be on the same page because they are students of him. If this was his, if this, he, if he was operating in man, he would have went about it in a different way, right? He, the those involved would not be separate. He would have already. Let them know off jump what the plan was and they would be under one roof. He's the financer. 
It's either his way or the highway. This is what he should have stood on from the gate. He would not have this situation, but he's operating in male, not man. If he was operating in man, he, his approach to this would be way different. It would be a science, and the ladies involved would be under his philosophy. Philosophy. These are not vetted people in his philosophy. So whatever they do, they are not ratchet. They are not out of pocket. This is his fault because he is or has the, the force of man inside of him that is not activated. This is just male behavior. Again, you can do whatever you want in life. You got to know what you're doing. And there has to be a hardcore philosophy involved. Now he just has children and they're all going to be separate. Now, when you're making that kind of money, you can boss up. And if the people around ain't with it, you can find somebody with it. You're not a poor man. You're a rich man. Act like it. Right? Act like it. There's a difference between a poor guy and a rich guy, right? But you have to be rich in knowledge first. You have to be rich in knowledge first. Once you say what it is, that's what it is, and ain't no folding. So the money, the, the, the richness of your finances is backs up the richness of your knowledge and information. But this is a person that is dealing with no knowledge, He's not rich in knowledge because his, his, his dealings should not look like this. And anytime ours as the male species, when our dealings look messy and our life is upside down, there's a problem with our information. We have not activated man. Right? This is a man problem, not a woman problem. You can't say, oh, those girls are stupid. Technically, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Technically, this is a rich person. I expect them to behave the way they do. It's on him to organize his shit. Don't blame them. He's supposed to represent the philosophy. But there's no philosophy. He's male, not man. All right, she says... And embarrassing as it is to admit, I even had a couple on and off relationships during this period as well. I wasn't sleeping with them all at the literal same time, though. Future was my go-to guy, especially if a dude and so and to all, especially a, a dude and fell on. A dude and I fell on bad terms, broke up or similar. But I won't sit in front like we're a very serious thing. Him and I have always had a good friendship. When I'm done reading this, you tell me if these people are friends, okay? She says they always had a good friendship. Friendship is a science. Yet again, there's no philosophy here. Because if this was friendship, then we would not be handling our business on the shade room, on Instagram, okay? We throw words around, and we don't have a relationship with the words that we use, okay? He gave me great advice on business moves. I've made, and as crazy as it may sound, I've always respected him and thought he was an amazing guy, aside from the ongoing baby mama drama in the blogs recently. Okay, hold on. Lost my spot. Huh. Uh, baby mama. Uh, okay. He has always been an upstanding gentleman to me, funny and cool. A little while before my birthday this year, I started getting sick and eventually found out I was pregnant by him and I let him know. Now, here's where we're about to go, right? Here's where we're about to go on the male behavior of not respecting your seed. If you're a mother, I think the greatest knowledge you can give to your male child is respect of his seed, his semen. Tell your son, if you are a mother and there's nobody around with the information that you have, tell your son, if you can train your son to value his dick, then you can take, you can help transition your male child into a man. If you could tell him the knowledge, 
or train him with the, the about the knowledge of his technology. When people say a man, a, a woman can't train a man to be a man, they're saying that because they think man is an appearance. They don't know it's a spirituality. So why couldn't a female that have transitioned herself into a woman teach a male how to do the same thing? It's an alchemical process. If she teaches the male child to value his semen, th right there, it's calming the beast within. And he won't go through anything like this. And he won't make bad dick decisions. Donate to that PayPal too. I'm putting it down out here with all this game. All right. But she said they were friends. Do they do these people seem like friends? And I suggest that you guys upgrade your words. What does a friend mean to you? All right. What does a friend mean to you? How can friends, which is something very intimate. How could we go out like this right here? If we're done, we're done. But how can we be done like this? All right. Okay. He wasn't happy about it, but wasn't very forcefully strong about getting rid of it either. However, he asked me to have an abortion. There is the mistake right there. Okay. The powerless guy. When the seed leaves your body, you can ask for an abortion all you want. But whatever she decides to do, you are no longer powerless. So the urge of sexual desire, you have to think about it differently. So you can always be in control. You are no longer in control once the seed leaves your body. So him, like many of us, all of a sudden we come and we come to our senses. And then we realize that we're not ready for that. You have to think about that beforehand. Yes, it's very difficult. What you're going against is biology. But that right there is the activation of man. You have to go against biology to activate man. When you activate man, man begins to take over the male. Man begins to live inside of the male. Without it being activated is nothing but a seed. When you water the seed through knowledge, philosophy, and s putting the body through suffering, that seed begins to grow and now it fits inside of the body of the male. Now the male is... Now the male is being controlled by man instead of the male controlling the man, if that makes sense. So we asked for an abortion, right? I thought seriously about it, but I wanted to wait a few weeks. Had another doctor's, doctor's appointment and began to feel attached to the baby and the idea of having one despite the circumstances. Again, you don't know what it's like for a child to grow inside of you as a male, right? Therefore, you're going to be hard-pressed to ask her to get an abortion. Again, you have put yourself in the position of a powerless guy. You are powerless. A force left your body that you no longer have control over it, okay? So you have to be okay with that force leaving your body when it does. You have to be okay with that decision. And you can't try to backtrack and say, you know what, I made a mistake. Well, you need to think about that before this, because that orgasm is, but that decision is long. So man is able to have discernment over that. All right. You're not going to come in a woman, a female, a girl that you don't have a bond with. You're going to be a little cautious with that, okay? I had as a doctor's appointment and began to feel attached to the baby and the idea of having one despite the circumstances. The next time we spoke, he seemed a little more antsy about me getting an abortion. So against my better judgment, I went to set it up. Now here we go. Now you tell me, are these friends? She said they were friends, right? And this is, some of your sons are in this situation, Okay? You don't want your sons to be in a situation. Value, value your seed, right? 
That's why I realized, okay, I'll pay you to get it. Okay, so let me know when it's done, which I took as I'll pay you to get it aborted. That's when I realized how savage he was. And also, how he obviously thinks I'm heartless, dumb chick who can just throw dollars at for something as serious as this. She says now she realizes he's savage. Of course, the male species is savage. The male species. Man is different. All male species are savage. Okay, the human male is no different than a gorilla, than a giraffe, than the rest of the males in nature. Of course, he's a savage. He has not activated the, the man aspect. So this is a girl who does not have knowledge of man, right? Because she's surprised that he's savage. Of course, he's savage. Why wouldn't he be? He's, this is his meat suit. Right now, what he is doing is... He is trying to protect his bottom line, okay? A baby would affect his bottom line. Of course he's telling you to get an abortion. Why would you think any different? So this is why girls must be trained in the knowledge of nature as well. So you can always identify what you're looking at. So you don't deal in fantasy, okay? That's when I realized how savage he was. So I knew then that he really didn't give a fuck about how I felt. Again, young girls need to be trained in the knowledge of things. The universe is mental, not feelings. And here's where a lot of ladies make the mistake, and they've been taught wrong as well. Nature doesn't care about feelings. Why would a male care about feelings? If I asked you to draw them on a piece of paper, what would feelings even look like? That is fantasy. Expecting people to care about feelings. Mistake. When you have the knowledge of good and evil, which is different than the knowledge of bad and good, the knowledge of good and evil can only be attained when a female becomes a woman and a male becomes a man. Right? The knowledge of good and evil, you would know that everything is cause and effect. So you would never expect someone to be mindful of your feelings. Okay? So I knew then that he didn't give a, uh, give a F how I felt. But I still had my mindset to do the abortion. When it came down to it, I was talked out of the abortion by my doctor, who made very good points. I'm a woman in my mid-30s. I am a woman in my mid-30s. Now, this is about the male, right? But why is she a woman? How could a woman ever be in this situation? A woman would never be in this situation because a woman is mind. Now, a female would be in this situation. And handle her business like this. Because female is the body. So what I'm doing is separating the words. So we can, un so we can understand, overstand, understand what it looks like. This is a conflict between a male and a female. This is not a, a conflict between a man and a woman. We have to understand this. Because a woman would not put herself in this situation. You understand? She would operate from the mental plane first. And think logically. First off, if we're having unprotected sex, he might come in me. Am I ready for this next chapter? And you don't, and you're no, under no illusion of what this person is. It's either male or female. I'm sorry, male or man? Is he man? Is he man? You have to, when you get with somebody and you're dating, you have to know this. Is that a man? Now, to know that, you're going to have to close your eyes. Because if you think man is physical, you're blind. A magician needs you to pay close attention to it, to him, to do a trick on you. The closer you are, the less you see, right? 
Where was where would I? I was informed that if I if I was informed, I was also informed that if I aborted the the potential the potential damage in combination with my age would make me highly unlikely I'll ever bring another child in this world. As you all can imagine, I was devastated. I look at it. I took a few days to reflect. I was so emotional. I thought about the times I promised myself I'd bring a child into the world of love and happiness. Nothing like the unbroken home that I came from. Now, this is the lady that is claiming to be Future's newest baby mother, right? So I had the courage to basically inform him, inform him that I didn't go through with the procedure and decided to keep the child. He was ballistic. Now, Mothers that have male children, if you don't train your son about his nuts, he's going to be in this situation. Here you have a dude that came inside of a, of a woman, of a girl, and it's biology, semen, egg. He's ballistic now because she doesn't want to have an abortion. However, you must tell your male child that if he comes inside of a woman, he, ah, uh, man, I lost it. He, he is now powerless. He's powerless now. Powerless. His most powerful, his most powerful time is when his semen is in his balls. That's his most powerful time. Right? So now... Why would he go ballistic? This is the behavior of male. This is the behavior of a group of people that was never taught to value their seed. This was a group of people that was never taught to transition from the body to the mind, to suffer the body so you can access the force of man that lives inside of you. So now he's ballistic, like many guys. So now you came, and now the urge is gone, and now you wanna make right decisions. But it's about prevention. You don't put yourself in that situation unless you know what you're doing. You have to do these kind of things on purpose. That means I have a group of women. You all are gonna be under my philosophy. I got the money. This is going to go the way I say it goes. If not, I don't want you around. Peace. There will be another person to fill that spot. Money talks, bullshit walks. Right? So for guys thinking to have this kind of dynamic, if you want a lot of children with a lot of different girls, well, it pays the cost to be the boss. You have to be able to finance the entire situation, and they all have to have one thought yours in this kind of situation there is no democracy i'm sorry not in this kind of situation you are alpha and omega in this kind of situation you are doing this because you have a bottom line and you have an end game so there is no it philosophy other than yours this is the only way you can operate something like this if not it's chaos and it is the behavior of the nigger this is the behavior of the nigger. This is our behavior. This is how we handle our business or how we're taught to handle our business, which is very, very sad, right? So he goes ballistic, right? Right? Where is he at? Um, as you can imagine, I was devastated. It took a few days. Uh, I wanted a husband. I wanted a child with the husband, despite some questionable decisions I've made. So I got the courage to basically inform him that I didn't go through with the procedure and decided to keep the child. He went ballistic. Having members of his camp call me and friends come by my job asking about me. It got so bad out of fear, I started to slow down on working, which everyone knows how much I love that spot and money. And honestly, the most most sad part about it is I can understand if I trapped him with the condom with the condom trick or something but me and dude literally has had sex for years unprotected hmm. why is he surprised that's male this is what I mean about male 
You're fucking raw. Anything could happen. If she chooses to keep the child, you are no longer powerless because your power, your engine, your life force is in your nuts. And once you let it go, you are now powerless. Let that be a message to any dude that wants to try to blame the female species for keeping a child. You no longer have the power. This is about control. Control. Never give up control unless you are confident in the thing that you're giving up control to. Never give up control. Okay? Never. Never give up control unless you're ready to go to the next level. Okay? Hmm. Thank God I'm STD free because I have no clue why I trusted him. Despite him honestly telling me and and telling me and, and me knowing and seeing how many females he has. Him having females is not the problem. Him, it's the way that he handles his business. Okay? <clears throat> and for the record, the unprotected sex... Listen... <laughs> For the record, the unprotected sex was his suggestion because he truthfully claims to hate condoms, that like, a, like a lot of guys. So once he accused me of being foul for not terminating the baby, if you got sons, do not allow your child to get in this situation. This is a position of a powerless male. Right? So he's calling the girl foul now because he allowed his power to leave. You can't give up your power. Right? You can't do that. A superhero can't give up their power and then be upset that, no, 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 it doesn't happen. You got to stay a superhero at all times, man. It doesn't work like that. You got to be smart. Right? So she's foul now. I don't want you... I don't want I don't want you and you know you never wanted me. We'll never be together. I laughed cuz truth is, I knew he was a player and I hate to admit it but real talk, we both are players. She's taking a lot of accountability too. So, of course, I've never wanted him as a lifetime partner. He also truthfully isn't the most profile. He's he isn't the most high profile or richest celebrity I ever had relationship with. And if I was gonna trap him i would have trapped somebody else wow so baby girl does this now here's the thing she just said he isn't the richest so she deals with men of means males of means she deals with males of means unfortunately this one didn't turn out how the rest last ones did so you need women to educate females too. I'm not going to get into that right now, but you need women to educate females on how to fucking handle their business. So why are you on here talking about your shit? So you mess with guys with money. Why are you going out like this? Remember I said there's richness in means and then richness in knowledge. She's never been with a guy that was rich in knowledge because she would not be in this situation. I promise you that. I promise you. Because you know better, you do better. This is about knowledge. All right? Whew, this is crazy. Um, uh, let me see. Most high pro. Okay, so she says he's not the richest. I would have trapped somebody else. So once I told him that, he arrogantly tells me no one will get away. No one will get a... No one... He arrogantly tells me how no one will get away with laughing in his face and disrespecting him. And no one who knows me knows, my, and anybody who knows me knows my foul mouth. So I went off and hung up on him. So again, look, earlier she said they were friends, right? If you are friends with people, that foul mouth you have by either side, y'all would never put that on each other because that's your friend. Also, Male and females, this is the way they handle their business. They talk reckless to each other. Men and women don't communicate like this. I'm trying to set a standard of what a woman is and what a man is. You don't have dealings like this. Can you have conflict and challenge? Yes, but she said everybody knows my foul mouth. So she was talking foul to him. So I'm sure it bitch ass nigga came out. I'm sure. I'm positive. He immediately texted me in a threatening manner and said, 
He had never been disrespected like that in his life. At that point, I realized this was an ego thing because he couldn't control me like he thought or or is used to. But in my mind, I'm still thinking he's a cool dude, always nice to me, so he's just upset now, which I understand because of who he is and the negative attention he's getting. So I thought to myself that he calmed down and will come around and warm up eventually. So I continued to send him updates and sonograms. To the, to the last time, he responded crazy and blocked me from everything. Now, this is people that they said was friends, right? They said they was friends. That's when things got crazy, no lie. Right hand on the Bible. Shortly after that day, I got a call from someone telling me to be careful. I heard, this is long. Anyway, I was thinking this can't be true because he's a decent guy. And most importantly, he's too successful to talk like that. And he got a million kids. So he ain't that upset. And also, at the at that point, despite blogs reaching out, however, they heard about our situation. I ignored and I hadn't told anybody other than my parents. This is long. This is long. This is like four more pages. Look, this is the thing. This is the thing. I was going to read that, but no. That is because the male is not taught about semen retention. Semen retention. Now, Let's hear a guy say something about semen retention or busting a nut. Um, so check this out. Just listen real quick. It's a crisis. Should black people be worried? Or should black people just seek more information? Black, how do we go about it? Say that again. Black people need to breathe. Breathe. Okay. The off you losing too much vitality hmm. maybe just maybe a lot of the issues that go on with male psychology is because of busting off too much right and the fact that many of us have never heard that before we've never heard of an ejaculation 
we never heard about the benefits of curving busting off. You know, we jerk off when we're young and we make jokes about it, but no one ever comes and checks us because that concept is from mystery schools, actually. It's an ancient concept, but it's not a popular concept, though. It's actually from mystery schools about the sacred semen, right? Okay, so whose fault is it? I read a little bit, and yes, he did threaten her life, and it got real messy. That was very long, right? But whose fault is that? Is it his or hers? What she was saying, and she was owning her part, and she was saying his part, but whose fault is that, though? That's his fault. That's his fault because power left his body. Now he has no control. That's his fault. That that happened like that, right? If you ask a guy for his safe combination, he's going to tell you hell no. Like if you ask a dude where his money's at, like take me there. He's going to tell you hell no. If you ask a dude, yo, bro, what's your bank pin? Yo, let me go into your account. He's going to tell you hell no. If you, if you even touch a guy's car, he's going to be upset. So his bank, his safe, his bank account, his car are very, very precious. But his semen... He will, he will let that leave his body w without being challenged. He will let that leave his body without discernment. He will let that leave his body without thinking one time is this a good decision. But when it comes to his bank, his car, his, uh, his safe, he's very protective. Now, I want you to peep that. That's crazy that the male is taught to be more secure and more per, uh, protective over his car, his bank account, his safe, his shoes, his clothes, but not his semen. Why? Now, someone benefits off that. The 1%, the 1% of the 1% benefit of males operating in that kind of mind frame because nine times out of ten you're not going to produce anything valuable in terms of your seeds but good stock to keep the nigger factory going so the system would love a male to operate like that with not being uh selective with your seed the system will love that shit because the only thing you're going to do is continue in the nigger factory because as it stands right now this person is going to have to be a father to disgruntled, uh, he's going to have to be a father to children that, that have disgruntled mothers. He's just made his life harder. But I get it, education. He wasn't taught anything, right? We weren't taught. We've been taught wrong. We've been completely taught wrong, all right? So just a personal story from me, right? So I know what is going on in his mind frame because I know what's going on in a lot of males mind frame because I've been there I remember when I was 19 maybe 13 14 hours apart I came in two women I came in them one at night I stayed the night just grind ball shit right one at night I stayed the night then I see my other chick in the morning same dick mind you I didn't shower went and came in her right what did I expect to happen what did I expect Four or five months go by. I'm not dealing with either of them, right? I get a call. One is pregnant. Then the third day of that week, I get another call. Another one is pregnant. Now I'm looking so stupid. 19, don't have my life figured out. And two girls are pregnant at the same time. One 19, one 28, damn near 30. I'm 19, right? I was not thinking about my semen. In fact... I was looking at it more of a badge of honor that I just laid two chicks in 12 hours. So I was more thinking like, yeah, yeah, I'm that nigga, whatever. But I did not know that I was that nigger. Like, seriously, I didn't know that I was just perpetuating the, the nigger frequency, right? That's, that's how I was moving. I was totally body. I did not know any better, right? They chose to have an abortion on their own, right? They chose that, right? Once they seen we wasn't going to work out, I didn't say what Future said, but I gave them a hard time. Like, eh, eh, I ain't ready. The, 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 the shit that guys say, I ain't ready for that. What am I going to do? Blase, blase. Oh, yo, I know that well. I did the same shit. But 
I understand because no one pulled me to the side to tell me about my body, to tell me that my penis was technology. No one pulled me to the side to show me that, yo, I need to learn to love myself and loving myself is loving my penis. Right. If you put lipstick on a fire hydrant, I'd sleep with it. I didn't know any better. Right. I was trying to make a connection. I just, and I was mimicking my environment. This is the behavior that I see males older than me do. So we want to be down. All right. We want to be down. And my mother did not know what she was dealing with. She didn't know what I needed. She was in her. Let me let me show you. Was I wrong then? No. Am I wrong now? Yes. Why? Because then it was about male behavior. Now my focus is man. So if I do the same exact thing, then I can be condemned and it should be off of my head because I have activated the, the male force and I have backslid. When you operate the male force, you are saved. You are now saved because man has... Uh, if you're still here, thank you. Just, man, if you're still here, thanks. Damn, just had a problem, right? So if you're still here, I just had a little problem, but if you're still here, thanks, yo. So man has taken over your body. Now, the thing about man, when you activate the man, when you activate the force of man, this is the thing. It's dual selves. So you have dark man and you have light man. Now, here's the other level to when you activate man, right? Yes, man is the spirit of ins that, uh, well, the engine inside of the male, the seed that can be activated. But that also has dual selves because you can operate, you can access dark man and you can activate man. I mean, light man. Now, light man and dark man are two aspects of man. It's not right or wrong. It's just when you do that work, now you have a choice. What you're going to activate, right? If you activate light man, your knowledge that you use, right? If you, the knowledge that you use benefits everybody around you. It benefits the group or the community, right? If you activate dark man, dark man, the knowledge that you use only benefits you. This is not right or wrong. It's just principles and it and it's and it's the option that a male when he transition can make. It's the same with females to women. You have dark women, you have light women. You can activate both. Right? So now in my life, if I choose that same path and do the same things that I was doing as male, I can activate dark male. And what I can use to get my way is what we call dark psychology, right? Dark psychology, where you put people under a spell and they work for you and they do it without consent. See, that's the thing about dark men. You do things on a mental plane with with, without a person's consent. See, a male rapes physically. Dark man rapes intellectually. See, the intellectual rape, you don't even know what's going on. It's no consent, right? A When you're dealing with light man, you need consent from a person to move forward. Now, that's some... Donate to that PayPal, too. That's some... I went and got that out of my stash. I had to dust that off. So each male has the seed of man inside of him, right? When he activates man, he can choose between dark male, dark man, and light man. Now, a step above that is the, 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 the guy that is a real weapon, a real weapon. A guy that is a real weapon use, knows how to use both. That's the knowledge of good and evil. That you can be dark man and light man at the same time. Paradox. That's a weapon. Most guys that reach man, they're either one, light male or dark male. But the real master is both. Both. Right? Okay. 
So, how does a male activate the force of man? How? Right? I talked about what the male is, and I talked about what a man is. But how does a male activate the force of man? You must starve the body. Put the body through extreme suffering. When you suffer the body, you begin to battle the beast within. Fasting. When you fast, you put the body through suffering. And around the third day, you feel this thing in you. It's a small pain. It's a force in you that is, that is fighting. Because what happens is you begin to start unlocking the seeds of man. So when you're unlocking the seeds of man, you are fighting that beast and you feel it. You got that urge to eat a piece of candy. You got that urge to eat a snack, right? Then when you get the seventh day, it's different. Then when you get to the 12th day, you feel man, you feel something. Your alertness is different. Anybody that has been on a juice fast knows that feeling. Even if you're a female, when you fast, when you get to that third day, you feel like you are conquering your beast. You feel your woman being activated. It's the same with exercise. You put the body through suffering, right? Because the thing about the male and female beast, it is lazy by nature. It does not want to do anything. It just wants to feed, right? Then you have meditation, okay? Being in your mind and letting your mind go and meditation allows you to know that you have many levels of yourself and not just this one, right? Rejecting the things you love the most, that is, that is curving instant gratification, right? Curving instant gratification because it's not the right time to, to do certain things. And we're so, you know, it's all about, um, it's all about um, YOLO and do it now. And sh no, 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 it's not about that. It's about, it's about planning for later, Right? But the most important thing for male to get to man, the most important thing is to confront the thing that scares you the most. Confront the thing that scares you the most and to get other on the other side of it. Confront the thing that scares you the most. Because in that confrontation, what you're going to see is the thing that scares you the most is a mirror. The thing that scares you the most is a mirror. Confront what it is that scares you the most. That dragon is nothing but a mirror. That uh, mountain climb is nothing but a mirror. It's, 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 it's a journey and an adventure that is going to introduce you to the deepest, darkest part of yourself. And you're going to know what you're made of. Right? That's how you begin to unlock the, 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 the seed of man. Right? We'll play you something else. Now check this out for the guys. And mothers, play this for your sons. Play this for your sons. This is from... This is from something called the Yellow Book. It's very old information, right? It's called the Yellow Book. Now... They might say some things you're not familiar with, but try to follow along. <clears throat> try to follow along what I'm saying right here. All right. So what I'm about to play for you is from the yellow book. Now, the information in the yellow book is from ancient mystery schools. Right. And I'll tell you the author when it's done. It's a few minutes. So just stick with me and listen to what the, what they say in this. Chapter 2, The Kundalini The Kundalini is the primordial energy enclosed within the Church of Ephesus. This Church of the Apocalypse, Revelation, is a magnetic center located two fingers above the anus and two fingers below the genitals, centered between the anus and the genitals. The Kundalini is the igneous serpent of our magical powers. This sacred serpent, which is coiled three and one-half times, is dormant inside the church of Ephesus. The Kundalini is the Divine Mother. The Kundalini is the Pentecostal fire. The sanctuary of the Divine Mother is located in the heart. 
the Kundalini develops, evolves, and progresses within the aura of Maha Kohan, the Cosmic Mother, the Holy Spirit, the Third Logos. The fires of the spinal medulla are Jehovistic. The fires of the heart are Christic. The fires of the head between the eyebrows spark the terribly divine rays of the Father. The ascent of the sacred serpent through the medullar channel is controlled by the fires of the heart. The Kundalini evolves and progresses according to the merits of the heart. The Kundalini must ascend towards the brain. Then it must proceed towards the sacred sanctuary of the heart. The Kundalini dwells within the electrons. Sages meditate on the Kundalini. Devotees adore and worship the Kundalini in their homes of perfection. When the solar and lunar atoms unite, we drink the nectar of immortality, because the Kundalini has awoken. The solar and lunar atoms unite in the Triveni, which is located near the coccyx. Then, by way of electric induction, the union of these atoms awake the Kundalini. The Kundalini awakens with sexual magic combined with pranayama, concentration, meditation, profound devotion, willpower, comprehension, and sacred mantras. The awakening of the Kundalini can be assisted with the actions of a master of major mysteries of the White Brotherhood, or by the grace of the Divine Mother, if it is her will. The Kundalini cannot be awakened if the yogi spills the semen. The ascent of the Kundalini through the medullar channel is a very slow and difficult process. The path of the igneous serpent, from one vertebra to another, signifies terrible ordeals, trials, frightful sacrifices, and supreme purification. We must not only kill desire, but moreover, we must kill the very shadow of desire. Our motto is Thelema, willpower. When the Kundalini reaches the pineal gland, which is situated in the upper part of the brain, we obtain perfect ecstasy. We must be made aware of the fact that even though the Kundalini has the form of a serpent, in front of the devotee, it can also take the form of the Divine Mother Isis, Rhea, Sibelis, Mary, etc., etc. When the Kundalini awakens, the devotee sees marvelous visions and hears multiple sounds. When the Kundalini awakens, it develops all of the powers of the soul. When the Kundalini awakens, one sees a very brilliant, sparkling light that is equivalent to 10,000 suns which shine with happiness all on their own accord, along with the Church of Ephesus. If the devotee spills the semen after having initiated the ascension of his Kundalini through his medullar canal, then the Kundalini descends one or more vertebra, according to the extent of the fault. Thus, a fornicator can never reach cosmic self-realization. Water is the habitat of fire. If we spill the water, then we lose the fire. Chastity is the foundation of the great work. All of the powers of the Kundalini are found in the semen. Whosoever raises the energy of the Kundalini to the pineal gland actually achieves supra-consciousness. Nirvakalpa Siyanadi Slate. The person who reaches this higher state is an illuminated one, a god. The Kundalini dwells within the triangular cavity known as the Celestial Triangle. This is the center of the Church of Ephesus. This marvelous temple of Ephesus is a splendid loins of four petals. The Church of Ephesus has the luminosity of ten million suns. The elemental earth of the wise corresponds with this lotus flower. When the sacred serpent opens the church of Ephesus, powers over the elemental creatures that live in the womb of the earth are then granted to us. We can then have control over the earthquakes. When the serpent ascends to the height of the prostate, uterus, the church of Smyrna is opened. This chakra has six petals and confers the powers of creation. Creation is not possible without the prostatic chakra. The immortal Babaji, the yogi Christ from India, whose physical body has existed for millions of years. Okay, so 
So what that was saying too, it was a lot. It was a lot of stuff in there. But what that was saying is, like, the guy that can control his semen is a god. And you reach a certain level of enlightenment that makes you unstoppable. So if this was an information that the children was learning, if this was an information that the children was learning when they were young, we would never have a situation like future. We would never have situations where uh, there is conflict in in childbirth. It's, no, this is if if you're gonna conceive, the child should come in in peace and love and gratitude, right? So I played that. Oh, that's that is called the Yellow Book. Now, th- now this is not something that you could just listen to and then leave it alone. You have to listen to it, write all the words down what they're talking about, go back to it, then go back to it again. This is a study piece. This is a lifestyle. And this is a it's, this is the yellow book. Uh, this is the English interpretation. Very old information. Thousands of years old. And to learn this, you needed to be initiated. But because of the internet, we actually are the beneficiary of piracy. <laughs> so this is the yellow book. The author is Samuel. Samuel. Yo, hit the PayPal just off me shooting this right here alone, right? This only has 348 views. People haven't even heard this shit. This is Samuel, S-A-M-A-U-L, Samuel, on A-U-N, wire, we are, we are, W-E-O-R, Samuel on we are, and that's the yellow book, and this is on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So slide a thousand dollars to my PayPal right now because that shit that I just gave you is priceless. You can pass it to your shorty, right? Pay the man, pay the pay the minister, right? So, but now in all seriousness, you know, I did this because a lot of uh, I know a lot of ladies follow me, and I know they have sons, and this is some information that you could pass on to your son, like. The most powerful thing you could teach a male child is to love their balls. You know what I mean? And fellas, you could uh, control your life. Love your seed. Value it. Don't just give it up to anyone. I would hate for you to have the outcome of many of these guys, right? Activate the force inside of you and become man. Activate the force inside of you. Become man. Now, ladies and gents. That's my time. And if you're interested in following up with me, you can hit the Nothing But Game hotline, 888-565-8734. That line is 24 hours. And if I am free, I will pick it up. But it's going to cost you, right? 99 cents a minute. 888-565-8734. That is the Nothing But Game hotline. And if you came late, go back and check out the information. My name is Ken Brisbane, a.k.a. Ken Billions. And I'll see you motherfuckers next time. Peace.